Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Kyle, as you know from the introduction that you watched. For those who don't know, this week is gender tag week in our little account, and so I'll be doing the gender tag that Ashley Wilde has created. They are such an influential person, and I hope you guys love this. So the first question is, how do you self-identify your gender, and what does this definition mean to you? I identify as FTM, transgender, female to male transgender. If you don't know what that means, look it up, but if you're on this uh, YouTube, you probably know what that means. I don't use anything else because I have not um, progressed in my transition yet. The most I've done is social transition. I have not done any physical or legal transition. So, and this definition means to me, it's basically it means a lot to me because it's who I am. Like, my therapist tells me that once I transition fully to just live my life as a man and not dig up the past, but I want to dig up the past to help others, if you know what I mean. What pronouns honor you? For me, I use he, him. For my parents, I try to use they, them. Like, when they call me, something I like to use they them for the reason that they're not used to he him yet so I want to ease them into it. Describe the style of clothing you often wear. I try to lean towards a more masculine style of clothing. I wear t-shirts and shorts that go down to my knees. I get almost everything out of the guys section. I've just I've been trying to get everything out of the guys section but it depends on my parents really. But I normally wear a t-shirt, shorts, or jeans, and a collared shirt, or a flannel, something like that, or just a t-shirt. Sometimes I wear uh, sleeveless shirts, and that's when I go to the gym or when I go swimming. Talk about your choices with body hair. How do you style your hair? Do you have facial hair? What do you choose to shave or choose not to shave? My choices with body hair is, I normally, when my hair is shorter, put it in a mohawk, because for me, that's the most masculine thing I could ever think of. As a young child, that is what I thought masculine was. But, as you see, mine's just like swooped over to the side this day because my hair's a little longer. Um, I do not have facial hair. I have not started testosterone yet. I hopefully start next year. Um, but I do shave my face every once in a while. It makes me feel more masculine. I normally do it when I'm feeling really dysphoric about my face. I shave it and I feel awesome. Um, what do I choose to shave and what not to shave? I don't shave anything but my face. I don't shave my armpits. I don't shave my legs. Don't shave anything else. Um, I used to shave my armpits when even when I was out because it made me feel cleaner but I started seeing my other FTM friends not shaving their armpits and it made me feel free to not have to shave them and I used to shave my legs when I wasn't out because my sister wanted me to and I never liked it so that's why I don't shave talk about cosmetics do you wear makeup do you paint your nails what types of soaps and perfumes do you use, if any? So, I don't wear makeup. Never. I mean, you wouldn't be able to see this if I did battle scars. Awesome. Um, I don't paint my nails. Never have. Never will. It just doesn't fit me. I don't like it. What types of soaps and perfumes do I use? I use head and shoulders for my hair. And, yeah. I use, um... What else? I use Old Spice deodorant and body wash, and then I use Axe as cologne. I don't use perfume. Again, perfume is a little bit too much for me. It's, no. Um, do you experience being misgendered? If so, how often? I get misgendered quite often, um, mostly when I talk. People are like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, and I'm like, no, I'm not a ma'am. Uh, my family misgenders me, but they don't do it on purpose. 
they try to correct themselves when they do misgender me, but they, they, they settled on a gender neutral name for me, which is K, because that's the first letter of my name, and so that's what they do. They try and stay gender neutral with me. Do I experience dysphoria and how does it affect you? I experience a lot of dysphoria. I'm 5'2", so I'm not that tall. And so seeing my brother who's 6'3", I have to look up at him. And a lot of guys are supposed to be 5'6 or taller. So it makes me feel very dysphoric being 4 inches shorter than the normal guy height. Um, I also feel dysphoric about sometimes my face because my cheeks are a little bit puffier than they're supposed to be for male masculinity. Um, I feel dysphoric about my chest. When I get my time of the month, I feel dysphoric about my bottom area. I don't like talking about it, but I do, and I pack when I do. I Well, I pack when I can, that is. And I feel dysphoric about my curves in my stomach. Like my stomach, it's a little, um, like guys is normally flat because when they, yeah, you get it, but mine is like more out and so I feel dysphoric about that and my curves, when I take off my shirt you can see my curves and I don't like it at all. Talk about children, are you interested in having children? Do you want to carry a child if that was an option for you? Do you want to be the primary caretaker for any children you may have? Alright, this is a really good one. I've always wanted to have kids, but from a young age, I knew I never wanted to carry kids. If I have a wife, I want them to carry the kid, but the problem is I want it to be my kid. Like, I want it to be biologically mine. As in, it's part me, part her kind of thing. But if I marry a guy, whether they're Probably FTM because I don't feel any attraction to cis guys. Um, I would not make them carry a child. I know that they would be very dysphoric about it. I would just adopt a child like my plan has always been. But having a wife would make me really want to have a biological child. I would never want to carry a child once again because I'd feel very dysphoric about it. And would I want to be the primary caretaker for any children I have. If I have a partner, no. I want to be, I want it to be co, co-ruled there. But if it's just me, I definitely want to be the primary caretaker. Talk about money. Is it important for you to pro provide for your family financially if you were to choose to have one? Is it important that you earn more money than any partner you may have? Do you prefer to pay for things like dates? Do you feel comfortable? Are you uncomfortable when others pay for you or offer to pay for you? All right, I really like this one. For me, it is important that I provide for my family financially because in the stereotypes, the man always has the job and the woman stays home. But I would not be, I would not care if my partner had a job, I would not care if they earned more money than me. I don't care who earned more money. Just as long as they help out in some way. Whether it's staying home with the kids, whether it's going to another job, I don't care. They do them, I do me. We work together in the marriage. Do you prefer to pay for things like dates? I do. I consider myself a gentleman. All my friends know this, they always make jokes about it for me. I like to pay for dates. I haven't been on many, but I like to pay for dates. And I am uncomfortable when someone offers to pay for me because I just feel bad because I'm supposed to be the gentleman. I, I always have wanted to be the gentleman. And anything else I would like to experience, I like to share about my experience with gender, I would like to share that it does take a while for your parents to understand or your siblings to understand. My parents have to grieve the loss of a daughter, but they also have to welcome 
their son. And that's what I've learned. My twin didn't accept me at first. She thought it was a phase and that I was trying to be cool. She's now calling me Kyle when she doesn't mess up and she actually tries now. You will get there. If your parents aren't as accepting, they will get there. And I've been out for over two years now. Yeah, so this year is junior year, so I, I came out freshman year. So I've been out for two years, and just now, I just got my first pair of guy jeans yesterday. Like, man section, everything. But I've been out for a while. So you gotta give it time. It's not gonna happen right away. I'm, I might start testosterone next year, which will be three years out. So you have to give it time. Time, time, time is what you need. Alright, thank you guys. If you liked the video, subscribe so you can see everyone else's videos.